I'm Dr. Scott Norton, a practicing endodontist in Louisville, Kentucky. Shaping the canal space is more than a strictly mechanical process. You need to think of it as a chemo-mechanical step toward the ultimate goal of saving the tooth through root canal therapy. And one of the best adjuncts to your files is Glide File Prep. It performs a couple of functions in the canal. First, it lubricates the files, allowing them to do more work in the space. And thanks to the EDTA component, it acts as a chelating agent helping to remove the smear layer. Let me show you how I use it in my practice. Some of my colleagues like to put some glide directly into the pulp chamber. I prefer to put some on an endo ring, or you can use a mixing pad. You coat the files like this, and then work them into the canal. I do it this way because I get better visibility into the canal. When I'm working in a difficult calcified canal, I will go back and forth between glide and sodium hypochlorite. Let me show you why. Here you can see, when I add some hypochlorite to the canal space, it reacts with the glide, creating an effervescing action. You will want to have your suction ready. As I mentioned earlier, as you get the glide down into the canal, it also helps to remove the bacteria harboring smear layer. I like to use it through the entire instrumentation procedure. I use it on every rotary file too, lubricating and working to remove the smear layer, which we all know harbors those bacteria we are trying to remove. Glide comes in these convenient syringes, which make application easy for me and clean up easy for my staff. But I think you will find that it is more than just easy. It might even just become essential for your root canal therapy protocol. Give it a try.